and yet every one of them was willing to vote no. Almost all of them did vote no. Some stayed away, but that's the same as no when you need 60 yes votes to proceed. Voting no and hiding from the vote are the same result. And for those of us here on the floor to see it, it was clear. The three who voted yes did not cast their yes votes until all 60 Democratic votes had been tallied and it was clear that the result was a foregone conclusion. And why? Why all this discord and discourtesy, all this unprecedented destructive action? All to break the momentum of our new young president. They are desperate to break this president. They have ardent supporters who are nearly hysterical at the very election of President Barack Obama. The birthers, the fanatics, the people running around in right-wing militias and Aryan support groups, it is unbearable to them that President Barack Obama should exist. That is one powerful reason. It is not the only one. The insurance industry, one of the most powerful lobbies in politics, is another reason. The bad behavior you see on the Senate floor is the last thrashing throes of the health insurance industry as it watches its business model die. You who are watching and listening know this business model if you or a loved one have been sick. The business model that won't insure you if they think you'll get sick or if you have a pre-existing condition.